Welcome to this exclusive video series for HVAC mechanical service contractors of the popular MobileLogic Field Ops, field service scheduling and dispatch software. Field Ops will help you to streamline both your office and field operations by eliminating duplication, reducing paperwork, increasing efficiency and overall productivity, while also increasing your daily cash flow and profitability. During this brief video presentation, we'll be showing you the famous D-Board and some of the job ticket features to help simplify your daily scheduling and dispatching. When calls are taken by your service department and put on the scheduling D-Board, they create work order e-tickets. Those particular tickets can be assigned to anyone on the dispatch board or in any staging column. Let's take a look at one of these e-tickets by right-clicking on that ticket you'll see various functions that are available. This is that electronic work orders property card. You'll see that we can choose to change the date if necessary to a different day. We can change our start time as well as confirm that we've contacted the customer. We can make a change in assignment this way. Instead of dragging and dropping, we can choose another service technician. We can change our estimated repair time. So if this particular call is normally a one hour call but for this particular call it happens to now be a one and a half hour call we can change that as well the time slot feature is the ability for an overlay feature on the board and then we have the ability to change the priority status the priority status are these dots that you'll see here in various colors alerts can also be enabled so you'll notice that I changed the estimated number of hours from that call from one to one and a half hours and it's been adjusted here in the total number of hours on this column. Other features will include the ability to drill down into the work order properties, the customer properties, view the customer, print the physical work order, send a text message, even enter a purchase order on the fly for that particular work order. You'll notice several other features and functions that are built directly intuitively into the work order that we're clicking on as a drop down menu. Once I have my service calls in the columns that I want to for those specific service technicians, I can send that information directly out to them electronically. There are a couple of ways for me to do this. First, if we have the ability to send a text message directly to their smartphone, we can go ahead and point to a ticket and then go up to one of our timestamps up here that are available for us to click. You'll notice the first one is notified. When I click Notified, it will actually take certain information that I have preset to be sent out for every work order when we click on it like this. In this case, the work order number, the type of problem, the customer's information, any notes that I may have taken. Uh, information like that can be preset and that can be sent out as a quick text message directly to the service tech in the field. If, in fact, I have that service technician set up for our mobile application, which is called Field Desk, you'll notice a small suitcase that appears as an icon on the electronic work order ticket as well. That indicates for the dispatcher that they have actually sent this call directly out to Bruce and it's gone out to his mobile tablet device. I'll do that again for the McDonald's and send him a second ticket by clicking on that cell phone tower. The preset text information regarding that call is going to go out. And you'll also notice that as we've sent that, the color on that particular work order has changed. That gives us another visual indication that we have actually notified Bruce that those two calls have now been sent to him. There are also other optional timestamps that can be used on the dispatch board. You'll notice that we also have the ability to manually indicate that this particular call has been received. No answer, which is yellow. Traveling, which is white. Starting the work, which is green. Suspending the call, which is red. And finally, closing the call, completed, is gray. These functions can be completed by the dispatcher manually or if in fact we're using our mobile solution which is called Field Desk, these timestamps can be affected remotely by your service technician in the field as they are performed in the field will be communicated electronically automatically back to the dispatch board so the dispatcher can see the disposition of any of these calls very quickly by color. 
You'll also notice that we have up to eight additional user-defined timestamps here that can also be set up based on any other specific needs that your company may have. Thank you for taking time to watch this exclusive video presentation of the leading mobile logic field ops, field service scheduling, and dispatch software. To schedule your own personal demonstration, visit our website at mobilelogicfieldops.com or contact us at 888-272-7474.